There's a theory I've been aware of for several years within the Star Wars Expanded Universe online community. I've seen it said on Reddit, I've seen it said on Twitter, uh, and this is an interesting theory. Now, Star Wars fans, we have lots of theories, Darth Jar Jar, of course, being a popular one. Um, we as EU fans have several. I might make a vi video about some of the others, such as the Ken slash Kent Hamner theory. Uh, we we think a lot in our noodles about lots of the different things within the lore, and we try to make sense of them and make connections, and sometimes do we stretch uh, the imagination? Yes, indeed we do. And that is the case with a the theory that I've seen on Reddit, Twitter, within Star Wars Expanding Universe circles for several years now. Uh, I've had this video written down in my YouTube to-do video list since I made that fourth precept video, because I thought this would be a good follow-up question video to that but it's taken me a while to get around to recording it. But I'm glad that it did, because there's been new developments uh, in, in this story that's interesting, because it's kind of AI misinformation. And I'll explain how this all relates together. This is a jumbled opening, but hopefully it grabs your attention. Um, Zane Carrick, was he a Skywalker? This is a very interesting theory that has been heralded by a lot of people. Of course, who, who is Zane Carrick? Zane Carrick is a member of the Jedi Order during the Knights of the Old Republic era, as seen in the comics that are set around the games, in fact directly before the games, on the fringe of the Mandalorian uh, Civil War uh, with the Republic, and so this is a very volatile time for the galaxy, and he's a little Jedi who's running around during this time. He is a completely lovable character. He doesn't have a lot of force powers going for him. He doesn't really have a lot going for him, period. Uh, but he manages to luck and goof his way through life with a series of friends in the 55 issues of Knights of the Old Republic by John Jackson Miller. The KOTOR comics are really, really great fun, and I can't wait to be reviewing them in a, probably a few months when I finish Tales of the Jedi. But, uh, so, Zane Carrick's a cool character, and he existed long before the Skywalkers, so is it possible that he could have been an ancestor of Shmi Skywalker, and subsequently the Skywalker line? It is possible, I guess, uh, that he could be. The Force runs in the Skywalker lineage, so I suppose he could have been a far-reaching ancestor thousands of years before uh, they faded into obscurity with Shmi. But... I found myself kind of doubting this theory, but first of all, let's look at where the theory comes from. Uh, the theory comes from a specific issue of Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, this is Knights of the Old Republic issue number 25, which was the first part of Vector, and the reason why several users online on Reddit and Twitter have pointed to uh, this issue for being proof that Zane Carrick is an ancestor of the Skywalkers is, first of all, the cover, and I would draw your attention to it. It depicts Vader standing menacingly behind three Jedi from three separate eras. This includes Luke Skywalker in the front, Zane Carrick on the right, and Cade Skywalker flanking on the left. Now you'll notice that three of the four are Skywalkers, with Anakin Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, and then Luke's great-great-great-grandson, Cade Skywalker. So we've got three Skywalkers represented, and the fourth is Zane Carrick, who is a Jedi who lived thousands of years before the Skywalkers and was likewise a Jedi. So was this showing that there is similar familial blood between the characters? So then there's another panel that people will point out uh, from within the comic itself, burning fire, and Zane sees this vision. And uh, they're like, and it's now, and now, and now too, and it shows Vader, Luke, and Cade. And then the vision cuts to um, Vader, Cade, Zane and Luke all standing together in front of a bunch of aliens and ragouls. And uh, so it's all of these people who are part of the Skywalker family. So people point to that and say, so the only reason that that vision was had was because they're all Skywalkers. And it's a cool, neat little theory on the surface. I guess there's not really anything that can discount or disprove that theory completely, but I'm going to point out why the vision theory isn't evidence for the Zane Carrick is a Skywalker theory. Uh, now, for those who have read the story, it's a part of the Vector arc. Now, what was the Vector arc? The Vector arc was a crossover series from Dark Horse Comics that spanned Knights of the Old Republic, Dark Times, Rebellion, and Legacy. 
And so we have four characters from all four of these storylines. Zane represents the KOTOR comics, Vader represents the Dark Times comics, Luke represents the Rebellion comics, and Cade represents the Legacy comics. Vector had issues in all of those longer, ongoing running series, and it told a crossover story. And the characters were connected by this vision because they all came into contact with the Mer Talisman. Zane dealt with it, Vader dealt with it, Luke dealt with it, and Cade dealt with it. So that is the reason why they all appeared in the vision and appeared in on the cover. It's not because they're all Skywalkers, it's because this story spans all of their series that they're the protagonists of. And they all come into contact with the same thing. So the vision can't then be used as an example of why Zane Carrick is a Skywalker. Another example they try to use is from one of the Rebellion issues where Celeste Mornay, who was a friend of Zane Carrick's, met with Luke Skywalker. And uh, she talks about having met another Skywalker once uh, with Anakin. And uh, she had been close to Zane and she saw like Good and Luke. And then when she sees with Cade at the end in Legacy, when, spoiler, she's dying, she's like, you remind me of another. And then in her mind she's seeing Zane. And so people are saying that since they reminded her of each other, then they could be linked in family. I don't know about that. Uh, shoot, uh, they say that they look similar, so they're relatives. You can look similar without being relatives. And also, Celeste was dying, so she wasn't exactly lucid, I would argue. Um, she was arguably experiencing the last of life, and life was fading away. So she could have seen anything. She could have wanted to see Zane, so she saw Zane. So, I'm a skeptic on this theory. I don't think that Zane Carrick is a Skywalker. Some people do. Some people will. It's an interesting theory nonetheless. You can let me know what you think about it in the, in the comments below, but for me, I just don't buy into it. I just don't count it or think that that's really what happened. So that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, but I think I've explained why the comic front cover and the comic panel with the vision can't be used as evidence. Because there's a clear explanation that isn't they're all part of the Skywalker family. The evidence is they're all protagonists of their own arcs and they all came into contact with the same uh, MacGuffin uh, in that plot from that crossover. So that explains easily why they're all in this vision and they aren't family. There's a much more logical explanation than a theory, a fan theory at that about them all being related. Uh, but that's just my thoughts. Yeah, it's an interesting one. It's one of the more interesting Star Wars Expanded Universe fan theories that I see circulate. And I see it pop up every now and then. I saw it pop up just the other day, which made me go and dust off the bullet points that I had listed on my notes from old video ideas to make and uh, put this one out. So, yeah, let me know once again what you guys thought about this theory. Are you a believer in it? Are you a skeptic? Do you think there is evidence that I haven't considered yet? And do you think that the explanation that I give for the evidence can be disproven? Let me know. Duke it out in the comments. Earlier I referred to AI playing a role in this Zane Carrick theory, and I neglected to record it in my video. I skipped over the note section where I was to talk about this, so I'll cover it now in the voice notes uh, as a editor here. Uh, if you look up was Zane character a Skywalker on Google, it brings up the Google Gemini AI overview, which comes up first. And it says, quote, No, Zane Carrick was not a Skywalker, but some speculate that he may be an ancestor of the Skywalkers. And then it has some more biographical information about Zane Carrick. And it links a source, and the source it links is to a Wikipedia discussion article called Potential Descendants of Zane Carrick and Jeriel. And this huge article explains a theory as to why Zane Carrick is the ancestor of the Skywalkers. And... It ends with, in conclusion, I believe that there is a chance that Zane and Jarrell are the ancestors of the Skywalkers we all know and love today in the Legends universe, or at least Zane is. I could be wrong, but I could be right. This is just my opinion. And because AI's Gemini just scans the internet and cherry picks it, it took a random article from 2021 from a dude named Hands Guy, and it cherry picked his article and put it on the front of Google. So on the front of Google, it says that some believe that Zane is an ancestor of the Skywalkers. 
This is really weird and potentially misleading, some as in just one guy from one post, and it highlights kind of the dangers of Gemini's AI. But it's just a fascinating thing that I noticed recently when I was dusting off the cobwebs for this video. It's an interesting wrinkle in this story, and it's just kind of weird. That article will be linked below if you're curious to read why Hands Guy thinks that Zane Karrick is an ancestor of Luke and Anakin and all the other Skywalkers.